so I hate being a beginner at anything oh it's the worst <laughs> I'm gonna tell you four reasons why it's great to be a beginner so you can get out of your own way and get started keep watching hey I'm Kyla Denagno and today we are talking about four reasons why it's cool to be a beginner so everyone is a beginner at something right that's tip number one if you just remember that everyone has started something as a beginner it will alleviate so much pressure right so everyone has to start somewhere but I mean that literally right all skiers had to learn how to ski all accountants had to learn that they enjoy numbers and learn what to do with a calculator right all lawyers had to prepare for the LSAT go to law school and then take the bar exam you're constantly starting stuff you're just going to and you're gonna be a beginner at all of those things so you have to just embrace being a beginner I have been YouTubing for two months now. I am a beginner. Beginner with a capital B, <laughs> okay? I'm a huge beginner, but it's still fun. It's still exciting and it's still new to me. I'm still learning and I'm still really enjoying it, right? And the thing about being a beginner is that I am not the first one to ever start a YouTube channel. There are millions of people who have started YouTube channels. The only thing that I can control is whether or not I produce content every week and when I release it, right? But I have to start somewhere, I have to, right? When I think about podcasting, which is my baby, as you guys know, to me, I would say that podcasting is 90% simpler than creating a YouTube channel. I don't have to wear lipstick to podcast. I don't have to make sure my hair is done to podcast. I mean, I don't have to do that for you guys, but I just feel better on camera knowing that it's done. So that, those are weak excuses for why podcasting is easier. The truth is, I've been podcasting for two years. Anything that you've done for two years will be simpler than something that you just started. But I'm not gonna act like I don't remember what it was like to start my podcast. I have the journal entries to prove it. <laughs> I was terrified. I didn't think I would get any guests. I wasn't sure I could keep going. I was afraid I had nothing to say that was new and inviting. All of those things I felt. And while podcasting is not as easy as just, you know, laying on my couch, right? It requires effort. It is much simpler now because I have two years of practice and two years of experience with it. Okay, so who knows how I will feel recording YouTube videos in two years. But right now, I'm a beginner and I have to embrace being a beginner, right? So whatever it is you're gonna start, do it. Do it. <laughs> Look at me, I'm doing something. I'm getting putting myself out here so you do it too. Let's begin something new together, okay? So enjoy being a beginner because everyone had to start somewhere. The second reason why it's really cool to embrace being a beginner is that you should never despise small beginnings. I have recently passed 5,000 downloads on my podcast. Very excited to have passed 5,000 downloads with my podcast. And I'm in my second year third season just ended so getting ready for the fourth season and you know what I've had a slow climb up the charts but that's okay and you know why it's okay because I know that every listen that I earn was well fought for I know that the 5,000 downloads are not my immediate family members the 5,000 downloads are people who actually wanted to listen to the podcast people who wanted to learn about the different career changes and exciting things that people can do with their law degrees and I'll take it I will take a slow and steady path any day over a rush day right so the number two thing is just do not despise a small beginning your start may not be huge. You may not have a video that goes viral and you have 10,000, 100,000 people following it and watching it immediately. But you could have that too. If you have it, great. But if you don't, embrace the small beginning. Do not despise your small beginning. Enjoy the fact that you have started. Enjoy the fact that you can be consistent and enjoy the fact that you're gonna keep working, right? That's the big thing. So do not despise your small beginning. Okay, so another really cool thing about being a beginner is that you get to ask beginner questions. And that one seems a little bit weird, but beginners have a different perspective than experts. As a beginner YouTuber, I have questions like, what's the best day to release an episode? How long should an average episode be? How do I write a script for a YouTube channel? All of those things are things that I can bring to the table with a new perspective because I have no idea where to start from, right? And then even as a podcaster, 
What's the best microphone? Is that really important? Could I just record in a closet full of clothes, right? And you get to ask those questions that I don't even think about right now when it comes to podcasting. I have my setup, which you see right here and it's almost second nature for me when I have to record and that's a really great thing but it's also because I've put in the practice right so so enjoy asking questions as a beginner because you're only going to be a beginner once there's no set amount of time for when you move from a beginner to an expert or even a beginner to intermediate or you know working your way but you got to enjoy this time you have to ask all the questions you have to do the research find out everything you need to know now because before you know it you will no longer be a beginner and then it brings a whole nother level of stuff right so enjoy being a beginner so the last thing is to enjoy making beginner problems <laughs> so you're going to make mistakes and you're going to stammer stumble fall all those things when you're a beginner but you can enjoy making those mistakes making those stammers when you are a beginner. As a person who's just learning, you're not the expert. You're not supposed to know. So you have to give yourself the grace to be like, I'm new at this. I don't know everything. I'm gonna make that mistake, but I won't do it again. That is the key to not do it again, right? So that's the last thing that can get you to embrace being a beginner. The fact that you can make those beginner mistakes because in a year from now when I'm recording and I got this hot pink post-it note over my shoulder. <laughs> I can say, Kylie, you probably should have removed that. But right now, as a beginner, I'm like, man, maybe no one will notice it. Maybe it'll draw attention to my hair. Maybe whatever. But those are things that I will not do in the future, right? Um, this YouTube corner that I think is absolutely great will probably not serve me in a couple years, maybe even in a couple months. But as I am a beginner, I get to test things out. I get to try them. I get to see, does this work? Does that work? What about that? And right now it works. But right now as a beginner, I have to work on the practice part so that I can become consistent. And then we can start to flex a little bit and try some new things, right? So I'm fully embracing being a beginner because it's new. It's not going to be here forever. It's mine right now. <laughs> and I love it. So enjoy being a beginner. You have forever to be an expert, but you only have a short amount of time to be a beginner. So enjoy being a beginner. Start that thing that you want to start. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're interested in starting. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, beginners.